That's always a good starter for the map. I don't believe it. It's going to happen at some point. Are we actually going to get into the round? We are! I didn't know that this could happen. All right, we got Kree running that omen off to the side. Looks like he's trying to creep up back behind this one. Moving forward slowly and steadily. I'm going to spot it up, but at least going to be able to take out the tripwire in front of him. So looks like a retreat and a reposition based off of it. Yeah, that's a... That's going to force... Oh, the fish one, two, three. That's he pushed all everybody up, cat, except for except for one. That's he a lot of contact on the door there. Scream gonna find Lucker on the way in. Hip now coming to take a little peek through glass, but Fearoth actually gonna find Link outside the dark cover there. Again, just able to get themselves onto site pretty easily here, other than a bit of contest on heaven. But Hip gonna find Scream on the way in, and actually Hip gonna find a second. Eccles will find Korea in heaven. And now Rhyme gonna swing out of door. He's gonna find Eccles, and there you go. Very, very fast retake there on the pistol round, and NIP will get themselves the defuse. Nice plays coming out from NIP. We're going to see them getting a little bit more control inside of this one, so we're going to go ahead and take the first round. See how if they can keep up this momentum, though, as that's going to make it significantly harder for Fish123 to get something going inside of this round. Throw off that early game economy just a touch, as you can see, it's going to be pistols versus... Uh, um, kind of a little bit of a diversification of pistols and SMGs on the other side. Yeah, a couple of frenzies go on the board for the attackers. Again, maybe just trying to... And then again, they got the spike down, so you know, they've got the opportunity to invest a little bit back into this. But I think they'll be saving a lot of the economy for the round three. And now actually going to get a little bit of a push over towards B main. Hip going to close down market door. Luck are holding close outside the archway, but already a rotation coming back over towards mid, and you see Kree has fallen all the way back past Market, past Pizza, and Aldo are going to get all the information on mid. That may be shutting down a slow push in towards Market there. Looks like we're going to see a quick reposition coming up from Fish123, moving back over towards that B site, running with three. The other two kind of out back over towards mid, eyeing back over towards acing, and maybe they can draw a little bit of attention and aggression back over their direction. B really only defended by two at the direct time. You can see it's Lucker just sitting, waiting to throw that slow orb on any form of approach. On the other side of it, it's going to be Hip that is just waiting. This combination could be absolutely deadly if it does go off. Opts into throwing it out first to slow it down just a touch. The approach coming around from the other door is not going to get much out of it, but it's going to be a quick pickup coming out from Firoth on one side of it. Hip still playing over on point. Does manage to get another shot off as three quickly drop on the side of it. And NIP is starting to take control very, very quickly as it's just remnants of health left back over towards breach and he goes down in a flawless victory for ninjas and pajamas yeah, good hold coming out there unfortunately not able to get anything done with the pistols but a bit of a throwaway round because we're gonna have a full investment coming back into round three as you fear off gonna get an operator on the board for the defenders so you to expect him to try and pressure mid link or maybe swing towards top mid and actually you can see there's a heavy stack over towards a lobby a couple of people potentially swinging out mid here. We'll see if they do try and make a play for it, but it'll be interesting to see how this one goes down now with the first buy round. See a sniper rifle in the hands of Firoth right now. Push is starting to come out from Link. Fish 1, 2, 3 running all together. Looks like they're eyeing back over towards A, moving into position. I don't believe that they got spotted just quite yet. So let's see how we see their approach come into this. Finally, do get spotted there. It's going to be Ryan moving into a little bit more of an aggressive point. Throws down the cage. Looks like he was contemplating making a step out, but instead just going to use it for full-on defense. Retreats back around. Sage is going to reposition back over from B towards A, giving a little bit more support for any potential push that comes in. But it's very slow right now coming out from Fish123. Being very hesitant, afraid to step out onto this point. And they do manage to hit a nice flashback over towards the snipers that could open up the path for them to come in. Lucker's holding off the side, gets the wall up, does manage to take down one, but it is a quick exchange. Firoth still playing up from heaven, oh. trying to spot out these shots, using the information and vision provided to him from teammates. Doesn't manage to connect with a whole bunch, so we are still sitting in a 4v4 as the spike does get planted. Again, unfortunately there for Firoth not to find any value off the recon bolt behind that dark cover, but Lucker just getting swarmed on site a little bit and again difficult retake here with the specters obviously coming up against the ars but paranoia are going to get sent out across generator and that's maybe going to be the catalyst for this retake actually the leer going to actually give hip an opportunity to jump all the way down behind generator two for two trade screen will find fear in response but kriya now himself into a 1v1 situation he's actually going to find cryptics in hell 
And there you go. Really, really solid retake attempt coming out from the NIP boys, and they will get the defuse. Nice clutch up coming up from Kree, especially jumping down. It felt like he knew exactly where every single person was as he made that approach in. That pushes us up into a three to zero. And it was a buy round coming in from Fish One, Two, Three. So let's see what all they have to work with. Looks like they're gonna, they're gonna have a couple of tools, but it's gonna be a lot of pistol spread across this one still. So let's see how they continue to go on this. As right now, it looks like we could see NIP taking more and more control over Ascent. Yeah, a couple of ghosts on the board. Obviously, Soulcast going to be in a position to buy up the Bulldog and probably still buy in the next round. So, you're going to see one rifle on the side of the attackers. Actually, Paranoia getting sent out into A lobby here. Maybe a quick push. Lucker will find Eccles elsewhere with the operator. Now, a little bit of a stalemate over towards A lobby here. And actually, there you go, Fioth. Not reading into the recon bolt too heavily and will still find that headshot in the corner. Now... Again, this one kind of stopped in its tracks before it gets rolling for Fish 1, 2, 3. Lucker going to pick up his second operator kill already. That first ends to death onto this is just going to make it very difficult. You can see Scream up on that breach still hanging out with the Cypher. Not a lot that they can do at this point. They have the spike, but where do you go? You're still caught yourself into a what is now a 1v5, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see maybe him just step back away from it, but doesn't have much that he's wanting to save, so maybe try to see if he can deny a little bit of utility, but it's going to be a flawless round, pushing it up into 4v0 in NIP's favor. And again, a bit of a throwaway round. You can see they're able to full buy back into this one. But uh, impressive stuff nonetheless in the first four rounds from an IP. A couple of nice retakes there. And now, obviously, we've got the operator on the board for Lucker. So expecting him to try and maximize the value off that. And again, get, drawing first blood in the previous round. That's what we, we see him do time and time again. So going to see how Fish123 approach this buy round now. A little bit slower than we've seen coming up from Fish123 so far. Playing a little bit further back, seeing if they're trying to get a little bit more information before they opt into making their play. Also got some utility being thrown back down towards mid. Nice shot oh, coming up go. from Lucker. Going to go ahead and make it two. Is that's going to be Eccles and Scream down. And if you're a Fish123 fan, you got to be sad to see those as the first two people to die because you now know Fish is going to have their work cut out for them already in a disadvantaged position. See if they have any plays that they're trying to make off of this when they're starting to slowly creep their way back over towards mid, playing back around Shed. Looks like, like, see how they're going to make this approach. It looks like they're looking back over towards B, but Sova repositioning coming in on the other side, and that's going to be Fearoth. Might be able to spot them out. Wall comes out, and that's going to buy a little bit more space, but it's not going to matter. Hip does manage to pick up one. It is a quick exchange, dropping us down to just one alive over here for Fish 1, 2, 3, and their woes continue as they have nowhere to go. Nothing they can really do. Maybe sneak out there and try to go for a plant, but nope. It's just going to be a quick pickup. Fearoth's going to take that one, and now it's 5-0 in favor of NIP. Again, Lucka just so good for those first bloods. Finds the headshot and then the wall bang to follow that up. And again, we've just seen him do this time and time again. He was absolutely deadly in the Vitality Open and absolutely showing why you can be consistent on that operator role. Really, really good stuff from him. A lot of dominance coming out. Fioroth 7-1. We got 6-2 coming up back behind that. This is decidedly in favor of NIP from this point forward. Now it's just a matter of what can fish one, two, three, try to get something out of this one. You're going to see that the dark cover does come out. Potentially stole just a touch, but looks like fish one, two, three are still making their commitment back over towards A at this point. Bit of a glance out and around as it looks like Cree might be stepping up. Uh, still playing back over towards Hall, not looking like he's wanting to do too much on it, but Lucker has just been a star performer right now for NIP. A lot of their victories coming off the back of his frags coming up very quickly and early. So, now with the reposition coming through, it's going to be Hip that picks up Crypt very quickly off of this one, turning it back into a 4v5. Fioroth starting to do a little bit of a reposition as well as it can hear Cree off on the distance on this one, but... Let's see how we see a response come out as it is now down to two, and this is just starting to turn extremely one-sided in NIP's favor. Eccles still looking around, does manage to finally pick up one. So moving back away from that one, also going to go ahead and take out the tracking dart. What work can he put in from this point forward? Because he doesn't really have the spike or anything to work with. Screams on the other side of it, looking back over, spots out one, goes for the connection, does take him down, but it's still not going to be enough as it is all just down to Eccles. Yeah, and I absolutely love that bait there. Ryan managing to get himself all the way into the attacker's spawn. 
And again, hip holding the angle, shuts down Cryptics hiding in mid link cubby. Again, he hears the footsteps. He goes to swing out on it, and he's just like, what the hell is going on? There's a second guy here, but Rhyme finding so much on that push through, and obviously the spike getting shut down there. Echo's actually going to get his third on the round here, but seven seconds, and yep, you're just going to expect a uh, full-on retreat out here and run the time down. Unfortunate ending for that round, but really, really good stuff, and we, we just we didn't see this aggression from NIP. We didn't see them kind of take the fight Two fish, one, two, three on Haven. And this is a complete step change from map one to map two. And you can see it's absolutely paying off for them here. Yeah, they are rocking inside the momentum right now. Eccles did manage to inflict a little bit of economic ruin to him, taking down a couple of people before round ends. But fish, one, two, three seem a little bit lost right now. Uh, Soulcast hasn't even managed to pick himself up a kill to this point. Just not able to find any form of approach. Eccles right now and Scream, top performers coming up for them. Trying to find some type of opening. Looks like they're playing back over here towards B this time around. Hip seems like he has a read on what's happening. Quick follow-up is going to be Lucker that has a little bit of a line of sight. One has already managed to creep by. Quick pickup coming up from that one. It's going to be Link. Now he's trying to go for a peek off to the point. Can't quite get any vision just yet. And luckily hasn't spotted out Lucker. So looks like they're going to be content with getting that one kill. Repositioning back. Moving back towards their spawn. And maybe going back towards A. As it looks like that's where the spike is headed. And now... Again, first blood going in their favor this time around. So, you see how she fished one, two, three. They might actually get surprised. Revive's going to get in invested onto hip. So, going to be the information that two players are still over towards B. It's actually three. So, going to have themselves a 5v2 situation. They're not going to check. Oh. Ali, though, fear off. Going to swing out. He's going to find Cryptics and Eccles. And that is absolutely devastating. But Soulcast will trade that with the Shock Dart. Link will find Kriya in heaven. And now the retake push comes in. That's why you always got to check your corners. Spike does go down, but Heaven is clustered with a ton of people right now. So Cast playing right over there next to the Spike, trying to be defensive on it. Playing down from Hell is going to be... Scream tries to get something out of it, but it's very quickly turning around off of this. Link's trying to move up and forward, but from this point, I don't even think that he has vision back over towards the Spike. Going to go ahead and use the wall, seeing if maybe he can get a little bit more vision up on top of it, but he has to move very quickly. Does manage to pick up one. Now moving back down towards the Spike, does manage to connect oh. with a little bit of shots, but it's not going to be enough. Nice clutch up coming from Rhyme, and that's going to be them picking up yet another round. Yeah, really, really good stuff. Unfortunate for Link not to find the second there, but Rhyme's just been having a much better game this time around. Again, it just that, that, that previous round there, massive, massive confidence boost. If you can push through and find three kills in the fashion he did, pushing all the way through to the attacker spawn. Again, just getting some momentum going, but it's fantastic to see Rhyme step up and not necessarily had a, a bad series individually. Uh, sorry, a bad map individually, but definitely turning things around already in terms of its impact on this game. 100%. Starting to see Fish123 get a little bit more signs of life and at least making NIP work for these round victories. They're off moving forward, trying to get a little bit more information. Spots out a lot. Now let's see how we fish one, two, three ops into responding off of this. At this point, I feel like you just want to avoid wherever Lucker is going to be at. He's still just trying to get a little bit more space and control as it looks like fish one, two, three are moving back around Shed, trying to get a little bit more control off of it. Separating out, trying to see if maybe they can go for an early pick, but just haven't been able to spot anyone just quite yet. This reposition coming back out and around from Cree could be quite pivotal, though, as he's moving his way all the way back around towards spawn. Does get spotted out by Soulcast, though, so opens up a little bit more reposition points. Keep in mind the fact that the spike is down back over here in this position. And again, that's spotted out there. Again, some really, really fast aggression coming through outside of B Lobby. Uh, this time around, it's not Rhyme. And actually, Rhyme, I'm going to take a little peek over towards mid-link. Won't lose his life for it just yet, but you can see now, looking as if we're going to have a stack and a push-up over towards B. And Hip and Lucker here to hold down the fort. Fault line going to get sent in, so the information is going to come out early. Paranoia invested as well. That's only going to blind Lucker, though. Hip manages to get himself tucked into the corner here and actually the shrouded set from Eccles not going to pay off and now he's in the dismiss he just gets stuck but three kills going in favor of NIP and 10 seconds left on the clock fish one two three got to push in try and get the spike down before this uh, they're not going to get it they're not going to get it yeah uh -oh. time's actually going to expire here oh actually oh, no man. they find they find the kill Firoth trying to hide behind the wooden box fantastic turnaround there but again came right down to the buzzer 
Nice play. You can see the fact that he was trying to get away from that one, but just couldn't quite find the angle to work with. Tries to creep back behind the box, but they had 100% read for it. Looks like now this time, Fish123 starting to make their push off to the side of this one. Finally managing to get themselves around, moving this into a 7-1. Can they inflict at least a little bit more damage before we see the side switch? I mean, I'd, again, they got the first round on the board, but it definitely didn't look comfortable, that's for sure. Coming right down to the wire. Again, unfortunately, not able to escape before the warband came through onto the wooden box there in B lobby. But Lucker again looking for something in mid. See Eccles is using the shrouded step to get behind that box. So maybe looking like a bit of a setup to try and get some mid control. Lucker going to slow off top mid and then retreat all the way back to the spawn. So not going to find anything in the early round. And that's going to give Fish123 a little bit of mid control. So with this mid control, what do they choose to do with it? It looks like they're moving back over the point. Don't really have... Looks like they're still just continuing to move back down towards mid. Reposition still coming out. Looks like Lucker might be setting himself up for a long range potential shot. Playing back over there along well positioning. So going trying to see if maybe he can get a lucky wall bang out of it. Doesn't manage to connect with anybody just yet. That might pump the brakes just a touch back over towards Fish123. We've seen Fish123 team to be a lot more aggressive on their approach, but like in that last round, we almost saw them run out of time and narrowly picked up the round of victory due to that. They have to be careful with as, how much measured success that they're managing to find. They need to start just trying to move in a little bit faster. And it looks like that's what they're trying to do. Again, though, only 20 seconds down here, and they didn't find an entry in just yet. Rhymes actually going to shut down Link from Hell, and actually going to find Soulcats as well. No possibility of the trade coming through now, and actually this push slowed down so much that time coming down to 10 seconds. Actually, Spike now in a position where they have to force the plant. Hunter's Fury going to get invested, but Spike will get planted. Creel will find Eccles. Luck will find Scream as he comes off, and Hip is going to clean up Cryptics as well. And that there... A fantastic hold, and again, I say hold because, you know, Scream was forced to plant the spike there. Hunter Fury gets invested. A really unfortunate way, but the time just absolutely winding down for with Fish123, and they had to force the issue onto a site there. At this point, I'm starting to feel like we're going to finally see uh, the entirety of the best of three being played out. NIP is starting to get a lot of control on everything that's going on right now. 8-1 present scoreline coming through. Soulcast top fragging back over for Fish123 sitting at 5-8 and eight is never a good thing. Meanwhile, on the other side of that, Fearoth is really stepping up over for this map for NIP at the time. Moving to a little bit more of an aggressive positioning coming out for the defense. Kree looking back over to the side of it. Almost everybody from Fish123 is stacked up, looking like they're just going to run themselves back over towards A. A lot of utility starting to come through as it's just being bounced, conjoled, blinded on every single point that he can. But yes, it does go back over into the favor of Fish123, nice. picking themselves up another one, trying to get some shots back through a wall bank. Not managing to get much out of it, but just look at the control still being exerted out from Fish123. It's going to be luck having to step all the way back away from this. Can't get any vision to work with just yet. Yeah, fantastic execute coming out there. Rolling Thunder and the Flashpoint on absolutely perfect, perfect timing. Excuse me. And they're going to get control and it's looking like they're going to back up and maybe just try and save these weapons. But again, much more decisive explosion onto a site there. And uh, I mean, a huge investment in terms of utility and, and ultimates, but absolutely paid off for them. They found the two entries with relative ease. And that's going to be, I mean, if they can if they can get a couple of rounds on the board, it's, it's definitely not over yet. If we're looking at an 8-4 half, it's definitely doable knowing how Ascent usually goes. But uh, they've got the last two rounds to worry about here. That's my, that's my worry, is what did that round cost them as far as everything? You can see that we still have a lot of ultimates, plenty of weapons, lots of money still sitting back over on the side of NIP right now. On the other side of that... Fish123 had to burn through a lot of their economy to get to this point and see that also had to burn a lot of Ultimate's abilities just to get in. Are they wanting to try to replicate this yet again as a lot of them are stacking back up over towards A, but a little bit more of an aggressive defense might be coming out from NIP. You can see playing back over way closer towards spawn, stepping back over. It's going to be Kree on the hunt for it. Does spot out one. Soulcast goes down early. Reposition coming up from Fish123 back over towards mid. Looks like he might have just been a touch of bait, but what do Fish123 want to do from here? Again, just... Shut, there's been so many first bloods drawn in a lobby here in the favor of NIP. 
Link actually going to get Solkas back on his feet here. So bringing it back to a 5v5. Again, Fish123 only really have Neural Theft to work with, but looking like they're going to pull all the way back over towards B Lobby. And you can see as the NIP only have the man Rhyme set up over on B site right now. Two players stacked over behind Market in the defensive spawn. Uh, the trap wire is going to give the information away nice and early. We're down to 45 seconds again, and Fish123 don't really look like they have an entry into a site just yet. It looks like it's just going to be a run and gun strategy. They were separated out everywhere. Finally, do manage to regroup. Soulcast leading up for him, kind of running the front man for this push over through. It does get spotted out by Rhyme on the other side of the cage. You can see just patiently waiting. It's going to be another pickup coming up from oh, him. Rhyme. Rhyme still just putting in so much work off to the side of this. Eckles now the last one up for his squad. No clean approach to really work with. He's nowhere near the spike. There's nothing he can do. It's pretty much just hide as there's only about 12 seconds left back on this clock. Yeah, fantastic hold again. Hip just playing time there, not revealing his position at all. And everybody choosing to funnel down lane meant that Hip didn't have anything to worry about behind him. All four players opting to push through lane. Ryan picks himself up three on the way in there. Really, really good hold. Just a nice set of crossfire coming out from Ninjas and Pajamas inside that one. So moving into nine to two right now. Let's see, last round before swap, what do we have left in Fish 123's tank? Don't forget, guys, Fish 123 had a very strong performance on the first map. So NIP coming back onto Ascent likely could push us into what could be a very fun third map as we move into this one. So, so we can see positioning is coming through. It looks like control back over towards mid, potentially in that shed area. It's like we can see back behind that it's going to be Breach running along with the spike to follow through. Quick retreat coming back out, trying to get a little bit more vision. That's going to be denied off of it. Early pickup's going to be coming up from Lucker. This guy is just unstoppable off that point. It seems like he always picks up somebody that goes for the peak. Again, another first blood. And this is actually just a completely different NIP we've seen on this map. And whether or not this comes down to a little bit of lack of preparation. Again, Ascent right now in terms of the competitive scene. There are some weird outcomes in terms of matchups on this, but this is not a scoreline I thought we'd be looking at after the first half here. Could argue, obviously, it's defensive-sided map and just a strong showing from NIP, but Dark Cover going to come out, covering Pizza and Market right now. Actually, Korea got himself in that position on Pizza that's always so deadly if it's not checked. The aftershot comes in from screen, going to force him out. Cryptics will pick up the headshot. Now Hip going to come back over inside Market. But I don't think we're going to see the push out here, but... Now they're in a really, really sticky situation. 3v4 situation, 30 seconds left on the clock. They need to find an entry if they want to get this last round on the board. It's like they're eyeing back over towards B. Slow approach coming through. Trying to find some type of angle to work with. Looks like they're just going to start to make a little bit more of an aggressive push. Trying to take down the doors that are up in front of them. But a quick spot out and it's going to be hit yet again. Defenders take that round and it's going to push us up to 10-2. to two. Uh, really, really, again, I'm just, I'm really, really surprised we've, we're seeing this scoreline right now, Matt. This is, a, this is a different team we've seen show up to play on Ascent for sure. And uh, Fish123 got their work out for them. It, it's, again, it's, de I mean, it's definitely doable for them, you know, if it, NIP have just put 10 rounds on the board on defense. Well, but uh, it, it's, it's a tall order, that's for sure. We do know the fact that there's a lot of defense side and on side of Ascent. Now, the question comes into play is how many can they string together? That's where the struggle is going to come out for Fish 1, 2, 3. We know the fact that they are very solid on their defensive rounds, but that's going to put a massive amount of pressure back over towards them. One small slip up can really mess up their economy and cost them too many rounds to make this problematic. Now, you can see Eccles moving off to the side of this one. It looks like a big push going to be coming out from NIP off towards mid. Going off towards the side of it, maybe mate. Using catwalk, shifting back over towards Oh, this a. is gonna be a huge back full line here. Scream That's just steps huge. up, gets big one, gets down. Two of them were taken down. Quick follow-up's gonna be coming up from Eccles. Does manage to get one of them, but Lucker's gonna go ahead and pick up the pistol. We'll start running his way through here, looking around, seeing if he maybe he can spot out anything. There's gonna be a cipher on the point. Goes ahead and takes out the camera, steps around the side of it, trying to hit a couple of shots onto it. Doesn't quite connect, does get taken down, and that's gonna be the round going over towards fish. One, two, three. That was an absolutely huge fault line from Scream there. Again, shutting down that catwalk push. And they, they, they managed to get so close as well. Just timed it. 
Absolutely perfectly. Unfortunately, they weren't able to shut all four down. But again, here, if we get this from, yeah, oh. in eyes hit. Oh, he's unfortunate not to find all four there, honestly. But really, really good hold. And that was a huge round. A pistol round, obviously, <laughs> super important, but even more so considering the scoreline. If NIP were able to put that on the board, it was uh, it was as close to GG as I'd like to call it before the game's over. But let's see now if they can string together a few rounds. Here's the pajamas looking back over towards A. Not the strongest defense showing up over there. Most of the players coming up from Fish 1-2-3 playing closer towards B at this point. To see, it looks like very slow and methodical approach coming out right now. It's Cryptic sitting on his camera, seeing if he's going to spot anybody making their approach just quite yet. Hasn't located anything, but it looks like he's starting to feed over information. As you can see, reposition starting to come out from the rest of Fish 1, 2, 3. Might be able to find an interesting collapse, depending on how this comes through. Different windows, different vantage points coming through now. 100% going to have the information to work with. Cryptic's trying to figure out how he's going to handle this one. Push is starting to come through. Spots out one. A lot of damage already being inflicted. Quick pickup. Two already down. Fish 1, 2, 3. Managed to pick up four. Make that five. Flawless round popping off for Fish 1, 2, 3. Defense comes through in the end. Again, for the first time we've seen Eccles actually crack a smile since we've had the webcam picture a picture there, but really, really good hold there. Again, just playing his life on site so, so well there. As soon as the counter peak comes in, you can see him swing out, uh, absolutely peaking at the last possible moment, not challenging too early so that he's got like a 1v3 fight against pistols and risking going down. All right, so it looks like now we're looking back over towards B point. It's just a little bit of dance back and forth from here. Echoes taking up a line position, trying to see if he's going to spot anything. Does spot out a little bit of information. It's trying to be gathered, takes that out fairly quickly. Soulcast now getting that information, trying to figure out how he's going to work with it off of this point. Playing very close to B as well, as it is just an entire pack of people from Ninjas in Pajamas playing on the outside of the point right now, starting to look around, making their push back over towards Shed location. Cage is going to come out, but not going to be enough for it, so it's going to see a reposition coming out from Soulcast oh, as no. well as a slow worm. And actually... Firoth's going to find the second there, and actually Fish123 already down to three. I say that. Lucka's going to find two more. Eccles and Soulcast will fall, in, fall inside market. And that just leaves Cryptix with a Spectre in a 1v5 situation. And this is not going to be easy. And there you go. Korea going to find the headshot immediately. And there you go. There's there's the one mistake, I guess, allowed. You could, you could say they're allowed two, but now the NIP are on 11 rounds. And economically, this is going to still be very, very difficult for Fish 1, 2, 3 to get any momentum and string a couple of rounds together. But I'd say that's the one mistake they're allowed there. And it comes on NIP's full buy round. So hopefully that's not the end of the game just yet. Because, uh, I mean, that, that's, a, that's a terrible round to lose. But this comes down to a full W key push into B site. All right, well, let's see how we go for positioning now. Looks like we're we'll moving back over towards mid. Dance back and forth coming out from NIP on how they're wanting to play this one. So off to the side of this one is going to be Soulcast. Still just trying to get a little bit of oh, defense. Oh, it's stuck to the... Information. <laughs> Got to step away. Does get the recon bolt that connects over towards him. Are we going to see the defensive line hold up? Scream up and close and personal. Just got a wall in between them. Cage is going to go down to buy a touch more time as Ninjas and Pajamas just dancing around the point. Dude, I love that. The recon bolt actually got stuck to the drone instead of going all the way out to mid. That 200 IQ block. But Scream actually going to pick up a freebie onto Rhyme here. And that's a good start. Fish 1, 2, 3. They draw first blood. And actually, recon bolt going to send him, but it's just going to give away the information that Scream's pulled all the way back out. So he's got the value on that peak, and he can just return to a safer angle now. But Lucka stacked up behind the wall here. Inside B lobby. Market door gets closed, but there is... Two players to back up Lucky here. Should he find this entry kill with the Operator again? Ball pops down. Doesn't get any vision. Got to be careful based off of this one. Wanting to play this one very slow at the time. 26 seconds remaining. Going to throw out a little bit more utility. Looks like the Dark Cover going out. Trying to get a little bit more space to work with. Eccles got himself a nice angle to play from, and he can they just have no unload idea as they walk right in front of him. If they don't check this side, it's going to be catastrophe. One does go down, but a quick spin back over. Going to go ahead and pick this one up. Repositions now coming out, three stepping up and four. He's not got time. Control going over there. Nowhere to go, and yep, Spike Carrier is killed. No time to work with, so Defender's going to pick that one up. Again, that's a... 
A, well, I say a really good hold. The, the entry kills came through, but Spike falling at the edge of the door, and I think Korea had already, already made his way down to site already, so the Spike carrier just getting picked off as the trailing man, and at that point, it's a, it's a fairly lucky outcome for Fish123, to be honest with you. But the time did expire, but going to get their fifth round on the board here, bringing it to a six-round deficit here, but already a better start to this half, you could say. But they've still got absolute, absolute mountains to climb here on defense. And it's going to have to be a slow climb as they make the approach up that mountain. Scream stepping up and forward. Does get oh, no. slowed down by the slow orb. Just a touch. Goes down. Nice shots coming out from Cree. It's going to have to step away from the aggressive defensive line. Fish one, two, three. Now going to have to reposition back just a touch as it looks like the push is going to be coming out from Ninjas and Pajamas back over towards A. Right here. Again. <laughs> Scream just just full on ego challenge outside a lobby. He's gonna lose his life for it. And that's gonna put the man advantage over to NIP here. And you can see a four man stack coming through lobby. So Soulcast gonna have a big big hold here. If he wants to stop down this push, he's got Echoes for support over towards Tree. Recon Bolt's gonna come in. It's gonna pop immediately. No information fed over to the enemy team here, but. You can see now all five players stacked up to come through lobby and actually the shrouded step gonna come through Soulcast Ooh. gonna beak out fine two hips gonna trade onto it and there you go the backup from cryptics in heaven's gonna shut down hip 40 seconds left on spike carrier will fall and korea now finds himself in a 1v3 to try and get this back in favor of nip He's trying to get a little bit more information jumping back up along inside cannot quite connect with it so instead i'm gonna go ahead and throw down the dark cover to get a little bit more space to work with can see everybody on fish one two three giving him some space trying to figure out wait for him to go ahead and start with the spike plant does go ahead and looks like he managed to get it down just narrowly in time but the numbers are not going to favor him quick pickups going to be coming up from cryptics and now it's just going to be a matter of removing the spike and that's going to push us up to 11 to 6. talk about the mountain that they've got to climb is slow and steady but they're starting to make up the ground i like that from from the retake there, just again, composing themselves, absolutely forcing the plant out. They can give away the 300 credits. That's not an issue. And then they just swarm in as three and take the three on one. And you see them playing the trade very effectively there. So a little bit of momentum, I guess, in favor of fish one, two, three here. But again, they're, they're going to need at least this, this swing from Soulcast was absolutely perfect there. The paranoia comes in, doesn't really affect it too much there. And there you see. The 3v1 at the end. Really good stuff so far. But I'm hoping they can keep this up. Keep the momentum flowing up and in their favor. You can see this nice... I got pretty aggressive line of defense coming out back over towards A. But unfortunately, it looks like the push is going to be making its way back over towards mid. Maybe back over towards B, respectively, depending on how they're wanting to move through this one. Like are starting to creep up and forward ahead of it. Looks like it's going to be Soulcast repositioning back behind this one. Going to be very cautious as they do make their approach. A lot of people all lined up. They know that they don't have a lot of economy to work with. You can see all the pistols that are out. I was NIP wanting to make the push back over towards this one. It looks like they're just comfortable waiting their time out right now and seeing if maybe they can increase the stress Dutch just a touch instead going all the way back over towards defender spawn repositioning back around this one this might be a nice little bit of surprise as they're going to have themselves a crossfire position set up and moving back over into it soul cash should be the first person to spot this one out as it comes through goes for the spray does manage to connect onto one but looks back around doesn't spot out the second one link's trying to get a shot off to the side but he goes down as well and that's going to be nip getting control over site b and now Actually, going to put himself in a bit of a sticky situation here. Both players down on site, and we know how difficult that can be. The crossfire, really difficult to play. And you can see all three of Fish, one, two, three, are stacked up, coming through the defensive spawn. Actually, Kree are going to try and TP out of here before they get too close. Fearoth going to find Scream as the Rolling Thunder gets invested. Now Fearoth's got to hold the line, but Kree with a fantastic TP. He's going to find Cryptix from behind. Now it just comes down to Echoes versus Fearoth, and Echoes going to come out on top of it, even though the Owl Drone tag was good you can see how happy he is to put that one to bed and get the defuse really really good stuff there Eccles keeping his composure there in the final moments but that reposition from Korea with the teleport was absolutely huge it nearly backstabbed fish one two three it was a pivotal point, but now we're looking back over at 11-7 scoreline. I know that there are a lot of Fish123 fans inside the chat sitting with this one. 
if we see Fish123 win this, that will be the completion of the series. If NIP can hold on towards their lead, that means that we will be moving over towards our third map. We've been seeing a lot of just two zeros coming into everything that we play Valorant events so far. Lucker now starting out, making his peek back over, looking back along the site. Gotta be very careful. Not gonna spot out anybody just yet. Yeah, Lucker again coming through to try and pressure this market position. Link stacked up in lane again. And actually, Lucker might try and put the wall out here to get a cheeky little angle. Absolutely. I, I hate dying to this angle every time. But Paranoia going to get invested. The wall comes up. And there you go. Ryan will find Link through the window. And Lucker now has a disgusting angle again with the operator to try and shut this down. You see, he's actually going to peek out. He doesn't find Soulcast. Actually, speed comes out from Soulcast. Rolling Thunder gets invested as well. Scream, Rhyme trading back out. Fearoth going to shut down Scream. Finally, the Operator now going to be huge for Eccles. He finds one. The, the Reds actually comes through. And he doesn't get the second. See now Cryptic finds himself in a 1v2 situation. Rhyme just going to swing onto defensive spawn there. Shut him down. That was a really, really impressive, aggressive push onto B site there. 12-7. So the fact that there's a couple of mistakes that Fish123 could make, well, they're at the line now as we're at match point. They cannot afford to lose one more from here on out. It's a Herculean task to win the next five in a row as we have not yet seen them capable of doing that inside this map. No, and again, that's 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 not really anything we've seen NIP do, uh, especially back on Haven. Again, just full force aggressive into that. Hunter's Fury going to get invested early on here. On, on both sides coming out. Firoth not finding any value and neither will Soulcast, but Lucker going to capitalize on that lack of mid-presence right now. And try and get himself a little bit closer to Archway. And sending out Owl doesn't manage to spot anything just quite yet. Soulcast doing a little bit of a creep out and around, making sure he's playing back on that other angle of approach, but it's just straight down mid. Looks like what they're looking for, Kree does manage to pick up Soulcast off the side of this one. You can see a little bit of a reposition as it looks like Scream is going around the outside, looking back over towards the cage. Got to be very careful. Repositioning is now starting to come out from Ninjas and Pajamas as they're creeping back away from their aggressive, very aggressive mid push. And instead, looking like they might be extending back over towards B as they're kind of keep glancing back over in that spot. On the other side of that, they are sending one back over along the line. Echo's going to walk right up oh, in front, but no. not going to connect. Feroth had the perfect read on that one, picks him up. And that might draw a little bit of attention back over towards A, opening up the gates towards B. And yes, it is. Look at the Sage repositioning back over towards the map. That's going to allow Ninjas and Pajamas to creep back over into this one. This is just such a huge bait here. Feroth over here drawing out all the rotations now. They can tell what's going on. Dark Cover going to cover defensive spawn. Actually going to give them access onto site here. Fish one, two, three, backs against the wall in a 3v5 situation. 13 seconds left on the clock, but Spike will go down on B. And this is, I mean, this is difficult. Really, really difficult retake here. Luck are going to find Cryptics coming out here. you got to say that's going to be GG here, Matt. Trying to find the angle onto it. Lucker has complete control back over onto this. They're just going to have to walk right through his line of sight, and he has just been murdering them every single time. He spots them out. Feroth's going to connect back over towards Scream, and there we go. A flawless victory to take this one out, and that's going to be Ninjas and Pajamas walking away with the victory on a set. I mean, fantastic response.